Good morning. It is 9.26 a.m. on Sunday, May 28th, 2017. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, I've decided to call an audible today and not record the uh, Avatar The Last Airbender rewatch today just because uh, the amount of time I want to devote to that episode um, is more than I have available right now. And I think actually... Tuesday is when I will do that, so apologies if you're all excited for that. Um, but uh, in in uh, so as a ordinary episode, um, I'll talk about what things that happened yesterday. Um, so yesterday was day two of Balticon, and uh, I've had my first panels of the weekend. Um, the first one was daily podcasting, and uh, it was an opportunity to talk about, for example, things like, I mean, this is not a podcast, precisely. Uh, it's, you know, a, a regular YouTube piece of internet content, but uh, not audio neither, or, or uh, presented on our RSS feed, although I suppose there's probably ways that you could use a feed reader to... Okay, who cares? Um, but obviously in the past I've also done uh, daily podcasts like Christiana's Shallow Thoughts. Uh, anyone who's watching this and doesn't know about Christiana's Shallow Thoughts, you should look them up because they're great. Uh, I'm very proud of them. Um, that reminds me, I've actually been thinking about trying to... I think there's a lot of content there that... Um, you know, there's a lot of people that I know since, I've known since I originally did those that might not be aware of all that stuff and just kind of preserve that material and not let it fade into the ether. So, I was, I've, I've thought about, like, what do I want to do with it, though? Because it's, you know, 370-some individual little three- to five-minute chunks so would it be better to say take 20 of them at a time and put them all into one big hour-long volume and then do however many of those are needed it would be like maybe 15 to 20 or something like that uh that's uh you know certainly a way to do it um it's kind of a lot of work but see part of part of the the trick of doing that is that part of the show back then was that I had a voicemail number and I would take voicemails and actually some of the episodes are me responding to those voicemails. And those were a lot of fun, but that number is not still accurate. So I don't know, maybe I would just have to start each episode with a reminder that, uh, by the way, I don't still have that voicemail number, so don't call it and expect to be able to do, leave a message for me. Um, I'm not going to tell people they can't call it if they want to, but I don't know who it would go to now. Uh, but yeah, so I suppose that's easy enough. And so the, the point being that there are a lot of episodes where I would mention the voicemail number and then casually, you know, segue into another joke or something. So I wouldn't, it would be hard to edit all of that out, but probably also unnecessary as long as each, okay. I don't need to repeat myself about the idea that I could tell people <laughs> not to call the voicemail number. I'm telling you all right now. What was I talking about? Okay, so the daily podcasting was the first panel. And so that was, um, it was fun. And, and we talked about, like, uh, I was up there with uh, Dave Slusher and uh, Nutty Nuchas and Nathan Lowell. And we talked about things like, you know, what is the value of doing something every day like that? Um, the potential hazard that, you know, you, on the one hand, it forces you to not be precious about the content and um, just put stuff out there, but it also means that some of the stuff you put out there is not necessarily going to be your best stuff. Uh, Long-time viewers of this video know that there are certainly some episodes that are not, <laughs> not uh, prime content. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? So that was just one panel. Uh, I also had my reading, uh, which I wrote, uh, read a selection from 
Phyllis Esposito, Interdimensional Private Eye, and uh, that went pretty well. Uh, it wasn't a huge crowd or anything, but you know, good. And then also I had the Beyond the Wall panel uh, with Nutty, and uh, because Chooch and Viv, my regular co-hosts for that show, were not uh, not here this year, we instead brought on some of our most active listeners. Uh, Hugh and Paulette and Patman, and uh, we talked about what would we want the Game of Thrones spinoffs to be, and it was pretty good. And then, you know, I hung around and I went to a panel about the problems with the Iron Fist TV show, and I talked to lots of people, and it was all good. So I'm excited for another day of stuff. Got a number of new uh, other panels today, and a lot of them are on the literary track, so it's going to potentially be a lot of people that I don't already know. What are they going to think of me? I don't know. Anyway, uh, i got to get moving because I'm going to go play test a buddy's board game. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. And reminder, Avatar Last Airbender Rewatch, Tuesday.